Storytelling is incredibly important. Stories as in you know, books, movies, series. Stories come in a lot of different forms. And what they're supposed to do, you know, the whole point is to inspire someone, right? Whether that's to uh, inspire them to go do something great or inspire them to feel better, inspire them to have a better life. There's so many different ways that books can inspire someone. And more importantly, a good story can inspire someone. And that's something we've always had, you know, Stone Age uh, wall drawings, you know, we've always had this fundamental idea of storytelling. And I'd like to do a bit of a compare and contrast to how storytelling once was compared to how storytelling is now. I'm going to give a few different varied examples and make a bit of a compare and contrast and we'll have a conclusion at the end uh, where I think we'll all come to a very unfortunate understanding about where storytelling is headed. So there was once a time when we had characters, for instance, I'll use Tywin Lannister as an example, characters who, again, you could say that this is, you know, Game of Thrones, it's supposed to be well written. I'm going to use other examples later, okay? I'm just giving us all aspects. Uh, in Game of Thrones or in Tywin Lannister, for example, a character, he doesn't just have one dimension. He doesn't have just have one thing to him. For instance, he doesn't just want to uh, defeat his enemies. He doesn't just want to become a ruler. He doesn't just want to uh, make him, make his family the most prominent family there is. He doesn't just want to uphold his legacy and his family's legacy. He has all of these different things. Notice all these things I'm saying, all these aspects of his character, and that's barely scratching the surface. And when he speaks, every word he says has meaning behind it. He doesn't just say a line that any other character in the room could say just because the writer's trying to get the line across. When a character says something, they're supposed to be saying it because that's what that character would say, not just because you already know the conversation you have to have and it's just character A, then character B, then A, then B, and then A and B, just reciting the conversation. It doesn't matter which line. They're interchangeable between one and B. That's not how good storytelling should be, and that's not how it is with a character like Tywin. Everything he does, from his body posture to a slight facial expression he might make, is indicative of his character and of moving not just the story in gen as a whole forward, but moving his character's story forward. Something that has been lost. Nowadays, anytime a character is doing something, it's to move the story forward, not the character story. Individual character stories, which all come together to build up the story as a whole, have been lost. And that's incredibly important to have that, to have character. And that's been accentuated when we get disasters like this. So in the show Ahsoka that Disney produced, same as all, a lot of stories we're seeing nowadays, there's no character. Lines are interchangeable. If one character, let's say Ahsoka says something in the show, she says a line, that line could be said by any other character in the scene and it would mean the same thing, nothing. The lines are interchangeable. If Ahsoka crosses her arms, it's just because she's crossing her arms because that's what she does every five seconds or any time she talks. She pauses, she crosses her arms. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have anything to a character. You could look at, you're supposed to be able to look at a character's eyes if they're acting in a show, a movie, a live action, and tell what they're thinking, tell what they're doing or not, or look at the eyes and not know what they're thinking because that's how they emote, how they express, how the character is written, okay, and how the actor is directed. It's not just bad acting that can lead to this. You could say it's bad acting, but no, it's how well the story is written and the writing is conveyed through the actor, through the character. And so in modern shows, we don't have that. We don't have character. We don't have individual characters with their own vast, round, dynamic characterizations, okay? They're not trying to accomplish the same goals. It's just the same boring, predictable story that all the characters are just pushing this flat, static story forward, and the characters have no substance to them, nothing at all. And what you could say is, what? No, you just compared a character from Game of Thrones to a character from Star Wars. They're not supposed to be the same. Well, no, because good writing can be in any medium, and that's why I would like to pull up an example from Disney Star Wars. Darth Maul and the character writing with him in the animated show The Clone Wars is phenomenal. Anytime you can tell through the voice acting, through the expression of the animated character, you know what's happening with him. There's so much themes, symbolism going on with him, the music cues, and his characterization. He doesn't just want to attack Mandalore because that's pushing the story forward. In season five, 
he goes and he goes and he makes these different allies with these different areas, these different crime families and syndicates, all for a different purpose. He plays them against each other. This characterization between him and the other characters. And then when it, the time comes at the end of season five for them to invade Mandalore, he has all of these strategies, all of these plans, these things that he lays out, then being unsure of them, conflict, characterization, all of the stuff throughout with him throughout the entire show. And I could say this with many characters in the animated show, The Clone Wars, has characterization, has meaning. He's not just an antagonist doing antagonist things or not just a character doing things to push the story forward. He is his own characterization. If he's in a scene and there are characters talking in the scene, it's not just that dialogue you'd get that's just pushing the story forward interchangeable. He's saying and doing what he's doing for his character and what makes sense for his character. And there's so much going on with him. He's a dynamic and round character. And that's what we need. And that's what storytelling is capable of, okay? From an animation to a show like Game of Thrones, it doesn't matter. You cannot make the argument, well, it's just an animated show or it's just a kid's show. It's no. Good storytelling should be, there's no excuse for not having good storytelling. Oh, it's a superhero movie. It's not supposed to make sense. Oh, it's a movie about space wizards with magic swords. It's not supposed to make sense. No. Good storytelling can be shown through any medium, through any form through any story, emphasis on story. And now I'm going to show an unfortunate product, which I believe this product is a direct example of our generation, okay? Our a generation that has, it's, that has been fed these, if you feed someone, if you give someone something again and again and again, they receive it. That's how we get, if you do work at math more and more and more, you get better at math. Work at writing and writing, you get better at writing. If you're fed bad stories again and again, you no longer realize what a good story should be. And I believe this review I'm about to pull out for something specifies that. This is a review I got for one of my books, and I'm, this could be used for any example, for anything, okay? Uh, I'd like to highlight this. This guy enters the world and joins the dark. But then, whenever he needs to kill people who are trying to kill him, he has a problem with it. He complains about having to kill people after he entered a tournament that is to the death. Like, seriously, why even bother then? He also gets a scale that is used for torture, but complains about it. And this was when I stopped. This is a big fat return. I'd like to highlight something that I've seen time and time again talking to people, comments online, talking through conversations, people I know, people online, about lots of different things. Star Wars, Marvel, and I believe this sums it up, this review here perfectly okay people are so used to bad stories that they expect a character to just be one thing a character should just be bad and just have one aspect to them or just be good in one aspect to them or just be in between one aspect to them people have lost the ability to either to both write and absorb multifaceted around characters oh this character decided that he this character has to kill someone he should be fine with it, right? He shouldn't have a problem. He shouldn't be affected emotionally by having to kill a person and then having to kill other people to survive. If someone is quote unquote on a certain side, they should just be fine with torture. This is something we see time and time again with the stories. I keep having to highlight Disney, but it's modern storytelling too. It's not just confined to Disney where all we get is these flat one dimensional characters who don't have anyness to them. There's nothing explored about them. If a character does something and goes through something, there is no longer time to explore how the character feels about it, how they're affected, how they move on, how they grow, how they have a character journey, okay? The characters we're receiving now are no longer characters. And I believe that that is the systemic problem with all storytelling. This is being shown through movies, through books, through comic books, through all kinds of stuff, okay? Shows, every uh, storytelling medium has we're losing it and what happens when something slowly so slowly degrades is it's lost and that's what's happening our storytelling is slowly slowly degrading and more so rapidly recently and that's not just affecting the stories but the people consuming the stories because now people are losing their ability to actually recognize a good story and enjoy good characterization people now just turn their brains off and just consume it because it, it's a spectacle now it doesn't matter if there are characters behind it and this is something extremely unfortunate and something that needs to be prevented. Please let me know, comments, you know, tell me what you think. What do you, have you noticed this? Okay, I believe this has had a huge impact on storytelling. Please let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. See you guys next time.